getting suggestions from the judges. Put a lot of effort into it because what you put out you get back from the judges especially. I spend a lot of time working on my project and to be able to share that with people who understand what I've done and who appreciate it is really rewarding. I actually like it. I like to talk to people. I talk to them, they talk to me back, and I learn things, and they learn things. And they actually know a lot about the same things that I learned. So we talk about Dr. Charles Gerba and Philip Turnow and a lot of bacteria. The judges are so nice that um, being judged by them really isn't a nerve-wracking experience, experience, at least to me. Um, it was more of a learning experience because they come and they know a lot about the field and they come and they just ask you questions in a really friendly manner. At first when you start judging you're really intimidated because you're always afraid that the judges are going to trip you up, they're going to find something that you don't know. But as you get used to it you become more comfortable in front of the judges. You realize they're just people and they're very interested in the studies, that's why they're here. They really want to get to know your project and they like to hear about the work that you've done. Well, when I was first being judged I was a little nervous because I didn't know what to expect. and then. As time went on, I got used to being judged, and it's just kind of like talking to a regular person. It's not like they're breathing down your neck. Um, talking to the judges is not really that scary because, you know, they're just people just like you and I, and they're just interested in how you did your project and what you learned and about your results. They're just that excited to be here as you are, I think. Um, I love talking to the judges because they're really genuinely interested in your project, in every project, and they give you great suggestions of, of things that you could have done that you could do in the future to improve your project. When I actually get to the science fairs, sometimes, especially like in the regional science fairs, I get to meet with experts of that field that I'm studying, and they show me where I could have missed stuff, where I could have improved in things. Yes, they give you criticism, but it's only to make you better and it's only to help you improve your project and make you understand what you're learning about more. The judges are very approachable, easy to talk to, and at the same time knowledgeable. I mean, one thing that varies is that sometimes you'll get a judge who's the expert in the field, and other times you get someone who's more of a novice. And in that case, you sort of have to adapt to it in your presentation, talk about different things more in depth than others, uh, really focus on pivotal points more. At the fair, when you're getting judged, just compose yourself and just be calm. I know you're going to be a little nervous, but don't be. You'll be all right. Students emphasize very strongly how positive they are about the interaction with the judges. Naturally, at the start, so there, many are somewhat apprehensive about the role of judges, but then they discover that the judges are fundamentally very interested in their project and interested in how the students think, how they're developing their project, their ideas, and that's clearly very effective. The students appreciate the value to them of explaining to adults, some of whom know a lot, some not so much, and the students learn to adjust how their explanations uh, fit the listener, and that's a very, very valuable part of the total experience.